In Godot, a signal is a message that a node emits when an event occurs. Other nodes can connect to that signal to execute a function when the signal is emitted. Godot provides a number of built-in signals for each node. You can check the signals of the selected node in the node dock. Let's take an example. Here we have a button and a sprite. I want to make the sprite rotate 90 degrees every time the button is clicked. Let's take a closer look on how we can achieve this. The button emits a signal called pressed when it is clicked. All we have to do is connect the signal to a method that exists on the sprite node. When the signal is emitted, this method will be invoked and it will rotate the sprite. There are mainly two ways to connect to a signal in Godot, through the UI or through the code. For the UI method, first select the node that emits the signal. In our case, it is the button node. Then go to the node dock and double click on the signal you want to have a connection with. In this case, it is the signal called pressed. Lastly, in the window that shows up, select the receiver node and the function that will be executed when the signal is emitted. We want the receiver node to be the sprite. We will call our receiver method rotate sprite. Finally, we can put our code inside this function. Now when we run the scene, it works as expected. Let's disconnect the signal and try the code method. First, we need to get a reference to the node that emits the signal. We can use get node to get a reference to the button node. Make sure you are writing this code in the script attached to the sprite node. The next step is to invoke the connect method on the signal and pass the name of the receiver method. When we do this on the sprite, it will connect the rotate sprite method to the press signal of the button. Sometimes you want to define your own custom signal to have full control on when the signal should be emitted. For example, we can make a custom signal that makes the sprite double in size every time it does a full 360 degree rotation. To create a custom signal, first we need to define it in the script using the signal keyword followed by the signal name. This will allow us to see the signal in the node dock with the other built-in signals. The next step is to invoke the emit method on the signal. In our case, we will emit the signal when the sprite makes a full 360 degree rotation. And of course, we can connect a receiver method to the signal just like before. We can do it from the UI or in the code. We will connect it in the code here. Now, when we run the scene, we should see the sprite doubling in size on every full rotation. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.